you'll see the top guys, they have really compact strokes. And this is because they're using what's called the kinetic chain. They're building the energy from the ground up. It goes from the legs into the, the core, the twists, into the arms, into the wrist and the racket. And it all happens together, bang, 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 until they get that power. And because they can use their body all in that chain of motion, they don't need big back swings to generate the power. So you'll see them there, really compact, bang. And this is, you know, this is what you, you do really well on that forehand side and what you need to do better on that backhand because you're using a big backswing on that backhand to try and develop your, to get your power. But you don't need it. You just need to use the kinetic chain. Use the legs, power up from the legs, twist into the hips, which turns the shoulders, and then ultimately a little bit of the hands as well. Finish that off and you can develop a lot of power. It's really flat. It looks really strong, but your wrists look tight. So when you get back here, let the wrists loosen up and you'll find as you straighten the left arm into the shot, that racket will dip. Okay, I wanna see if you can pause with your racket all the way back. So instead of waiting here and then going back and forwards into your backhand, I want you to go straight back pause, line the feet up and then go into your shot. That's the one where you go up and then back and forwards. That's very rhythmical but if that ball shoots through you're going to be left here and then trying to do it quickly. Okay so straight back, move forwards. And it's a very very subtle difference to what you're doing currently which is this. Okay, see my, where my body weight lines up, and then this one. See my, my body weight is down over this front shoulder here. So I'm leaning on the shot a little bit more. Yours is here, neutral, and I want you to be there. Okay, so you, your weight's just a, just a tad bit further forwards. So the reason why we're doing these two things, first one, we're getting our body weight further forwards, so we're leaning on the ball and then that forces us to step through or rotate through, which is going to elongate the contact point and make sure that we, if we're early or late, that ball's still hitting the sweet spot. Also getting our body weight through the shot, we're going to get more power and better direction, especially if we lined up in that neutral stance position. Okay, lean on that ball. I want to see, as you're leaning on that ball, that arm really straight that front arm your back arm can be bent you see how it's in that position where the racket's slightly up now when you straighten the left arm that's going to take the racket down okay so left arm bent in the tape back left arm down as you go forwards and then nice rotation through the shoulders with a relaxed arms and wrist pulling up with the hands to finish with your elbow pointing to the target. Yeah, get that arm straightening out so you're dipping that racket down, point it down. So that was straight down, bang. We're gonna take it, we're gonna change it just a little bit so you've got more shape on your shot because I wanna see more spin. We're gonna take it back with the left arm uh, poised in this position and then drop it by straightening the left arm. Good. We need to be really conscious of how straight this right arm. This one needs to be completely straight. You're going to use this shoulder here on the right arm, a bit like a one-handed backhand, to pivot on that shoulder there. So if you have any bend in here, you know you're, you can be pivoting on the elbow, you know, or the wrist. So we need to keep it all straight. And then that left arm is kind of in there throwing it down and, and then putting the shape on on the racket as it goes through. So pushing it down, straightening it out and then lifting it up to generate the spin with the with the racket head coming up over the ball.